Good morning, students! Today, we will discuss about the Newton's second law of motion, which is the law of acceleration. And these are the objectives for today's lesson. Explain the effects of force to the acceleration when the mass of the object is constant. Explain the effect of mass to the acceleration when the force applied to the object is constant. State the relationship among force, mass, and acceleration of the object. And solve problems applying the second law of motion. What causes the object to move? Consider a ball placed on the table. How can you make the ball move? In what direction will it move? A force is needed to make the ball move. When a force is applied to the ball, it moves in the same direction as the force applied. So in this example, the force is going to the right, thus the ball goes also to the right. How is the unbalanced force related to the acceleration of the object? Let's consider this ball having a mass of 0.5 kg. If you apply different amount of force such as 5 newtons, 10 newtons, and 15 newtons. Which do you think of these three forces? Make the ball accelerate faster. Of course, the 15 newtons will make the ball accelerate faster. We know in daily life that when we push something harder, like a chair, it will accelerate more than to apply less force to it. So that when the applied force or unbalanced force is greater, the acceleration is also greater. So the relationship of the unbalanced force is directly proportional to the acceleration if the mass of the object is kept constant. Now how about the relationship of mass to the acceleration of the object if the force applied is constant? So again, we use these three balls having different masses. If you apply the same amount of force, which do you think of these three accelerates faster? Of course, the less massive ball, which is the 0.5 kilogram, will accelerate faster, while the 1 kilogram ball accelerates the least. So, when the mass of the object is less, the higher is the acceleration, taking the force to be constant. The mass of the ball is inversely proportional to the acceleration, keeping the force to be constant. We summarize the relationship among force, the mass, and acceleration of the object. So, we have the unbalanced force or net force is directly proportional to the acceleration if the mass of the object is constant. The mass of the object is inversely proportional to the acceleration if the force applied is constant. Combining these two relationships, we have the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the net force acting on it and inversely proportional to its mass and in the same direction as the net force. So we have acceleration is directly proportional to the net force over the mass of the object. And this can be expressed in, in an equation. We have A is equal to F over M, where A is the acceleration of the object, F is the net force or the force applied to the object, and M is the mass of the object. Uh, this is called the Newton's second law of motion or the law of acceleration. For units of force, mass, and acceleration, we summarize here in this table as a reference. Okay, so we try to apply this law of acceleration to solve some problems. For number one, a 5 kilogram mass is acted upon by a constant force of 10 newtons. What is the acceleration of the mass? So the first thing to do is to find first the given. So we have here the mass is 5 kilograms. The force is 10 newtons and the acceleration is unknown. So we have to find for the acceleration. To solve for the acceleration, we use the equation acceleration is 
force over mass where we simply substitute the values acceleration is equal to 10 newtons divided by the mass which is 5 kilograms however the newton unit is equal to 1 kilogram meter per second square so we have the acceleration is 10 kilograms meter per second square divided by the mass 5 kilograms so we just simply divide 10 divide 5 so we have 2 kilogram units will be cancelled so we have meter per second square so the final answer is acceleration is 2 meters per second square now for number 2 what is the acceleration of an object whose mass is 180 kilograms if a 350 newton force is applied to it we identify the given the mass is equal to 180 kilograms and the force applied is 350 newtons the required or the the unknown quantity is the acceleration so same thing with number one the acceleration is equal to force over mass we substitute the value the force is 350 newtons divided by the mass 180 kilograms so we just divide 350 by 180 will get 1.94 so the same thing a newton unit is just equal to one kilogram meter per second square divided by the kilogram unit so we're left with meter per second square so the answer for number two is acceleration is equal to 1.94 meters per second square then for number three a ball accelerates five meters per second square when it hit by a force of 20 newtons what is the mass of the ball so this time we have to find for the mass so we have the given acceleration is equal to 5 meters per second square and the force applied is 20 newtons now what is the equation for the mass so we have mass is equal to force over acceleration the force is equal to 20 newtons and the acceleration is 5 meters per second square we simply divide 20 by 5 so we get 4 and the newton unit is kilogram meter per second square divided by the meter per second square so we're left with a kilogram unit so the final answer for number three is mass is equal to four kilogram for number four a toy car is moved by a force if suddenly a load is dumped into the toy car so that the car's mass doubles what happens to the toy car's acceleration if the force applied is constant? In this problem, we will use the relationship of acceleration to mass at a constant applied force. So acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass. Since the mass is doubled, that is m is equal to 2, we have acceleration is equal to 1 over m. We have acceleration is equal to one half therefore acceleration become half the original acceleration and for number five a ball of mass 0 0.2 kilogram accelerates at 10 meters per second square what is the force applied to the ball so we identify the given the mass is 0 0.2 kilogram acceleration is 10 meters per second square we're going to find the force applied to the ball. So we have the solution. Force is equal to mass times the acceleration. So we have mass is equal to 0 0.2 kilogram times 10 meters per second square. So we have force is equal to 2 newtons. Now why the unit is newton? Because we know that 1 newton is equal to 1 kilogram times meter over second square. So we have force is equal to 2 newtons. I hope you learn how to solve problems using the law of acceleration. Till next time, we see in our next lesson.